everyone, it's me, Sim, and welcome back to another episode of A Builder's Limit, in which we are trying to build with every single item from every single pack in The Sims 4. Now, I know this episode is really late, but like I had explained in the community post, I was having a lot of problems with speech and everything, and just a lot of stuff was going on, but I'm here now, so that's great, and we are going to get this build done. I believe it was for growing together, and I already have like a little shell that I built, so let's get into it. Okay, so here's a little shell I have. If you've been on the channel for a while, I think I posted a speed build of this build a long time ago. Like this is an older build I did. Obviously, it didn't look like this because I, I changed it all to fit like growing together and growing together wasn't even out whenever I made this build. So yeah, I like it. It's a nice family home. I believe I used like... Um, wait, or maybe Growing Together was out. I don't remember. Did Growing Together come before? When did I build this? I don't know. Maybe it wasn't a long time ago. Okay, because I remember using like Cottage Living and even like Horse Ranch in here. I don't know how long ago it was since Horse Ranch came out, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it was very like rustic and things like that. So I went ahead and changed the wallpaper from like growing together stuff, the fences, the columns, the windows, stuff of that nature. Outside, before we had like a pool area and stuff like that, but I believe I'm just gonna make this into like the splash pad zone. And then yeah, we still have pretty much everything else. Um. In the side, well, here's the basement, the stuff we have to put. It definitely looks like a lot. Yeah, it's definitely a lot. We have a lot of bookshelves, a lot of tables, a lot of chairs. <laughs> when we come up, once again, everything has been changed. We have our first floor. You enter, we have like a little foyer area. Um, I don't know what this is going to be. I was thinking like a dining room maybe right here here is going to be the kitchen office another little room i had this as a laundry room but we might figure out something else to do with it we have our first bedroom here they have their own bathroom we have the master's bedroom here and they have their own bathroom before i had this kind of like as the grandparents room yeah <laughs> over here we have a kid's room over here we have another bathroom and here we can probably put like some activities and stuff. This is like an old garage that's been like changed into an actual room. And then here is going to be like the living room and maybe some other stuff or whatnot. And then when we come upstairs, we have all this open area. And then in here we have another office. And then over here we have a bathroom for upstairs. And then over here we have another bedroom. So there's a total of four bedrooms and four bathrooms, which is really nice, I think. But let's go ahead and start, shall we? Okay, so I think the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is start off with the bedrooms. That just makes the most sense. And let me put on my cheats because what the heck. There we go. And we'll just start with the bedrooms, like I said. Probably put like a one of these beds up in here. Kind of probably like to the wall a little bit. And then, of course, this big bedroom needs this also, like right here. This is a huge bedroom. This might be the parents' bedroom right here. Parents' bedroom, teen, little kids, and then another teen up here. That makes sense. Hmm. We have a lot of bunk beds, though. And a lot of, like, kid beds. We have this bunk bed with two beds in it. Which I guess we don't have to have two beds in it. I mean, we could just have the two beds. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll have the two beds and put that in the kids' bedroom. Right here fits perfectly. And then there's this other bunk bed with like this table and chair. Oh, it like disappeared. Do you guys see that? Um, and we can also stick it here, like right there, maybe. And then have this turn around. Oh, it's like a little, um, okay. I like that. And I think we can have it like this instead of turn, like how they had it. That's adorable. I like that. I love this little desk right here. Cute. Okay. And we'll change the colors and everything once we actually get into it. And then I believe that's all for beds. Now we just have like a bunch of sleeping bags and stuff like that, which I can also find somewhere to put those. Probably in the living room, maybe in like that one. Oh, maybe like in this area here. Why don't we have flooring? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. We'll put flooring in here. <laughs> we could put like the sleeping bags in there because maybe whenever they have like sleepovers and stuff. They come into like here so they can all be together. Yep, yep, yep. I like that. I like that. It's good. It's good. Um, and then 
What would be the next easiest thing to do? Probably the bathroom and the kitchen. Ooh, I forgot we have all this baby stuff. Oh gosh. Um, hmm. Where is it gonna go is the question. We can definitely have one of them in here, I think. One of the baby things in the in this room right here. And then, oh gosh, this isn't good. <laughs> Maybe we could have another one in here, right? Do they just have some like scattered about probably? Put this one here. And then this one can go... Uh, what if we just put it here? No, that's like in the kitchen. Um, This is going to be like the dining room. No, it needs to be like in a room. So it's not like disgusting. <laughs> Maybe they'll just have another one in here. They'll have two in here. So that's fine. Okay, and then as for the kitchen, let's go ahead and get that. What are these? These are dressers. This is a locker. Okay, let's go ahead and put the kitchen stuff up here. And then, so if you watched my other, um, if you watched the speed build, guys, I don't even remember if I made a speed build on it or if I just posted it on the gallery. I think I had a speed build on it. <laughs> but if, if I did and you watched it, it's going to be a pretty similar layout what i have before because i mean it's the same house <laughs> do we not have except of course like a couple of things are going to be different and like changed around and stuff do we not have kitchen counters for this pack we have like a full kitchen set except for the counters no we don't have any that's very sad that actually makes me very sad how am i supposed to match anything i think i want to put the stove over here maybe with its vent right there. Put the sink here. Hmm. What color do we want? Hmm. I feel like this orange would really pop with the green background. Are you guys seeing the vision? Do you see the vision? Or we could do like this blue. I feel like I always try and play it safe though. Let's do orange. I never do like a bright color like this. We can definitely do this. The only thing is trying to find counters that would match. <laughs> base game ones at that that's that's the problem hmm these kind of match the vibe not the color but like just the cabinets themselves maybe no i wish we had matching counters so bad why didn't they give us matching counters this is awful you guys think we could try and make it work with these ones i doubt it <laughs> i'm very sad right now <laughs> well we gotta do what we gotta do and what we gotta do is this <laughs> and then go ahead and put like a little end piece right there. I don't like this, like at all. I actually hate it very much. Is it the color? Is there no lights in here? There are. Move this light over here so I can see better. Thank you. No, I hate this. It's definitely the counters. I definitely just hate the counters. What if we made it like white and black? No. It's not a vibe, guys. It's It's not... Oh, there are so many other counters that came with, like, other packs that might have actually been good. But here we are, stuck with these. Like, what is this? <laughs> I mean, we have this. Does it come in, like, nice colors? <gasps> Guys, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's perfect. It's perfection. Perfect. It's not the exact... It's close enough. It's close enough. That's the best we're gonna get, guys. That's the best we're gonna get. It's the best we're gonna get. It's perfect. Oh my gosh, I didn't think we were gonna find something. <laughs> Go ahead and put like a little end piece right there. Perfect. That is the best we're going to get. Do they have upper, upper cabinets for this one? You're lying. You're lying. You don't have upper cabinets for it? Mm, this makes me sad. Oh, I mean, we have these. Guys, we have to mix and match. We have to mix and match. We have to do what we have to do, okay? What are we feeling? Are we feeling like this or are we feeling like the the bright orange? We could tone it down. No, we're going all orange. Huh. See, but it doesn't really match. That's what makes me sad. Or we could do like this paler orange and kind of like tone it down a little bit. Um, see look. It actually doesn't look that bad with the paler orange. What am I? Oh, am I am I medium wall height? It doesn't look that bad with the pale orange, right? It doesn't. Don't lie to me. <laughs> oh 
Let's get like a nice end piece. Yeah, that's nice. And then let's get like a corner piece here. And then as for, yeah, the window's kind of weird. Let's go ahead and just bring this around with these ones. Oh gosh. Maybe we can do another end piece here. No, it clips into the fridge, doesn't it? Hmm. I wouldn't mind bringing them up one, maybe? Oh gosh. No, because then it doesn't like frame the window the way I want. Just do that and then like forget about this. <laughs> I'm bringing it around with this one right here. Yeah. That's fine. It'll do. It'll do. Um, let me see. I mean, it'll have to do, honestly, right? It just looks kind of boring with all those cabinets, though. And honestly, I think the pale, I think the pale orange is, it's, it's okay. <laughs> okay, and then, uh, I'm, I'm looking at it, though, and it looks like it's just, like, all, guys, I'm sorry. Let's see how it looks with, like, this, this actual orange for a second. I have to know. If I'm missing out. Do we like that? Part of me is saying yes, but part of me is saying, you know what? Part of me is saying leave this alone. You're right. I'm going to leave it alone and then um, <laughs> hopefully come back to it another time. Let's go ahead and put some of these. Get us an island here maybe and we do need a sink. Base game one. I love that one so much. Mm, it doesn't match. They have an orange one. You guys know we have to go for it. We have to do the orange one. And then I believe we already have bar stools in this pack. <laughs> Let me go ahead and find it. No, I lied to us, I think. We do not have bar stools, do we? Oh, we do. Where is it? What the heck? I don't know. It's probably hidden somewhere amongst this chaos. But anyway, we have bar stools. We're going to go ahead and put them. <laughs> do they not slot? Oh, did I put, oh my gosh, you guys let me put the wrong ones. These aren't the island ones. These are the, 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 ha. Uh, <laughs> this one is the one we wanted. Yeah. And go ahead and put this here. Here we go. I trusted you guys. I trusted you guys to, to lead me right. <laughs> All right. And what color are we going to make it? Hmm. Orange. We're going full on with the orange, guys. We're going full on with the orange. Oh my gosh, I wish Growing Together came with cabinets and stuff. That's so annoying. Anyway, here's our little kitchen, I think. We'll add more to it and everything. It'll be fine. Hmm. Part of me is thinking about adding tile. Huh. Growing Together has a tile. Hmm. How do you guys feel? I do need to add a backsplash tile to this. Um, how are we feeling? And like, do something like that, kind of? I like it. I like it. Let's go ahead and get the... Which one though? Probably this one. Are we liking the beige with the orange? Why? Do you guys see this? Why doesn't it go all the way to the edge of this wall? Look at the flooring. It's not... Oh my gosh. Okay. We're just gonna ignore it. Anyway, how are we liking our beige and orange kitchen? <laughs> Ew, no, this room also has this exact same color and must be changed. There, we can do like a dark brown maybe. Yeah, it'll have to do. I don't know, are we liking it? It feels so out of place with the rest of the, the house. You know what, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe, no. Look how it's like, and then like there's just like wood. It looks like a whole separate, <sighs> moving on. <laughs> I think the next thing I want to do is probably, um... Let's go ahead and do some of these bathrooms, right? We have this bathroom here, which we can go ahead and put a uh, shower. It looks nice. Do they have like pink? Yep. We can make everything in here nice and pretty and pink. A sink, do we have anything else? Like a bath or a toilet or anything? No, just a sink and the shower. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just put that here. Or we can put the sink here. And then put the toilet in that little corner over there. Make the sink white. And then get us a toilet. Yeah, we just have like baby toilets. Alright. Let's go ahead and get her a nice one. Whoever stays here. In this room and has this bathroom. Very pretty indeed. And then we can kind of just like do the same thing in this one. With the same stuff. Have a nice shower. 
change the color to like this very pretty toilet in this corner nice and then a sink like here maybe or a sink here no see i don't like how it's not centered with the window we have the sink here and then that'll be good there we go and then we'll add like decorations we'll add bathroom stuff and things of that nature we have this hallway it's pretty small you can barely fit anything in there also i think i want this piano in the living area here what the heck is this delete it <laughs> and what are we going to put in that room i was saying was a laundry room we can most definitely make this a baby's room 100 percent. also that means that we wouldn't have to put this changing table in here we can go ahead and stick it in here yeah look at that nice let's go ahead and change the color to like oh i love this wood and pink let's see if we can like kind of match them a little bit it might be a little tough that's good enough i think right make that a little bit more brown okay great we have a baby room now perfect perfection we have a bunch of plants a bunch of paintings mirrors bikes this is going in the living room obviously <laughs> here and we can even put like a tv above there maybe or we can put a tv like upstairs in that giant like space who knows and this could be like formal hmm i also want to move these over i feel like it's too close yeah it still looks fine we could get a tv this one maybe like a small one it's fine we could put this like here or here to fill up this spot here. I like that. I like that. I like that. And then let's change the color to something fun. Like that. That's very fun. And I have these lights, but I can't see like anything. Can we like put lights more places so that I can see, please? <laughs> oh, that's very fun indeed. I love that piano right there. Okay, perfect. And then a lot of chairs, a lot of sofas. Jeez Louise. Is this a dining table? Yeah, something like that. This is also a dining. This is a dining. Oh gosh. <laughs> we have three dining tables. Honestly, this right here is so ugly. I hate it. I really do, actually. I, I hate this, like, a lot. Maybe it doesn't have to um, be... What? This window is, like, clipping into the... They're clipping into, like, the walls. What the heck? Anyway... Maybe I can stick it here, just because, I don't know. This circle table is also ugly. And maybe it can go like up here. Do you, do you guys have this glitch where like your windows do this sometimes? Mine says it all the time and it's so annoying. <laughs> we can have this go here upstairs maybe and like do something with that. Maybe they play games on there or something. And then we can have our normal dining table in here looking kind of nice part of me feels like it's not big enough though you know hmm. i also don't know what color to make it probably like this dark brown yeah it's not big enough it's really small does this one come in like this one's so ugly i hate it <laughs> it doesn't come in any like good oh my gosh whatever <laughs> let's get some dining chairs what exactly is a dining chair? I think this is a dining chair, right? We can go ahead and use it. Yeah, it is. How cute. Haha. -ha. <laughs> On this super small table. Yep. Let me see. Mom, dad, kid, 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 kid. There's like one missing. Oh my gosh. Plus like what if they wanted to have a party? Guys, I think we have to use this ugly table. I'm so sorry. I didn't want to have to do it to us, but I think we have to use this ugly table and it really breaks my heart. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is, it's impossible. Why? Why does it look that bad? Oh my gosh. It doesn't even matter. Um, um, um. <laughs> oh my gosh. Delete these chairs. I'm so sad. I'm, like, distraught. And then we can put this table, like, here. Mm, probably, like, a plant or something on it. Who knows? Ooh, put it right there. Nice. 
Yeah, this is definitely, um, it's, it's, it's definitely something, you know, we got something going on here. It's awful. <laughs> also, why doesn't this wall extend all the way? Like, nobody wants to see those ugly stairs. Please stop. Same for you. Put another wall here and then just paint it. This nice mint green color. So pretty. Your sim still can walk through here, right? Yeah. Okay, perfection. N uh, not really, but mm, something. <laughs> oh, you know what? We have these curtains. Let's go place them here. Okay, well, that doesn't fit. Uh, here. Perfect. Nice. Love to see it. Love to see us winning. Love to see something actually coming together. <laughs> oh, gosh. We're ruining it. I don't know what color I'm going to make those because I don't know the color scheme yet of our little living room. So I'm just going to leave it as is for now. And we can also put curtains here. This is wild. There's, like, kids... That's going to be sleeping in here and then boom, you just have a giant window for like creeps to look through. It's, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm a horrible, I'm a horrible land, um, a what? I don't know, moving on. <laughs> okay, okay, we're making progress. Look at all these lights. We got bookshelves, we got like this family art thing we can actually put somewhere. Where is the question though? Maybe here. Yeah, we can put it here. Cute. That's adorable. Or like, will it fit in here and your sims are still able to walk through? I think so. If so, perfection. Yeah, in this little hallway. Wonderful. It's kind of sad that we hid it over here. But hey, you, you got it. Oh, we got some artists. Look at them. Okay. Oh, wait, do they have like different ages drawing stuff? That's so cute. We're going to do this one. It's adorable. That's I didn't even realize that detail. It like the 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 the, the, the just stop. <laughs> the art goes from like um bad to good. I'm just going to say it. It's bad. <laughs> anyway, we have this sofa here. And we actually have another sofa also. Wonderful. And then we have a bench. Cool. We can put it outside. <laughs> and then, hmm, I've already used this desk for the bunk beds. Uh, oh, here's the um, thing. I know it was hiding somewhere. Hmm, here's like a bathroom cabinet. Well, it's a history cabinet, but it's going to be a bathroom cabinet today. I know you guys are sick of me. I'm sick of me too. <laughs> Let's make it like actually match like white. And then, oh gosh so much stuff <laughs> it's just like so many chairs and what's the reason i also love the fact that i always complain about there being like too much stuff in a pack and like too much of the same stuff in a pack and it's literally the <laughs> the packs are literally guys the packs are not made for you to do stuff like this <laughs> they're i pr they're not made for you to like use every single item at once you know so <laughs> Let's just calm down. Let's calm down, Sim. <laughs> it's going to be okay. You know what? Let's hang these right here. Because why not? Because I want to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll put these here. We'll make them like this color. Pretty. It has a pink one. And then move this out the way. We do have some more toilets. You know what? We can put one of these little things. Oh, actually, we can put both of them. In the parents' bedroom, bathroom. Most definitely. Where's that other thing? This one. <laughs> and place it here. Yeah. Now we're making progress. Now we are making progress and we love to see it. Let's make that one yellow and this one like pink. I don't know. There you go. Now little toddler potties and stuff like that. <laughs> we got a lot of outside stuff. We do need like a mirror. For both of the bathrooms, this one here, oh my gosh, don't be difficult. Thank you. And then this one here, we could actually probably make this mirror black to match a little bit better. And then we can keep this one gold because we have like the other gold accents and stuff like that. Now we do have this giant mirror here. I think that would be nice in this teen's room. 
Yeah. I think so, most definitely. By the way, guys, these window, this window, these windows here from Growing Together, this isn't one window. I put two windows together to kind of make them longer. It kind of looks weird, I think, kind of, now that I'm looking at it. But not that weird, right? Like, it looks... I don't know, I know this triangle thing looks weird right here. I'm, I'm upset that it exists, but it's fine. I never could figure out how to, like, use it. Oh, what if we did the pink wallpaper with, like, a purple bed? It's probably too much, isn't it? Or like this, like the like the the sheets and pillows are pink, so it still matches. That's adorable. That's actually adorable. I like that. And then make this white. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. And then we have this other mirror here, which we can definitely put upstairs in this teen's room. Okay, well I took a break and I'm back and I have no idea what I was talking about last. So yeah, we're just gonna continue. Um, <laughs> these bookshelves. I want to get them out of the way. I want them to get them. I, what? I can't talk. I want to get them out of my basement. The only problem is I don't really know where we're going to put them. We could stick one right here. Ooh, you know what? Let's move this in closer maybe. And we can stick it right here. We can even put two of them, right? Yeah, look at that. It's like clipping into the window, but we completely ignore stuff like that. And then... <laughs> These ones here could most definitely go into the children's bedroom. Oh, but look how fun this one is with the shapes. Hmm. I want them to have this one. It's just so shapey. Ooh, and we can still have this one right here. Look at that. Cool beans. And then now we have like this right here. Let's see where we can put it. Honestly, probably in the office area. Yeah, and do something kind of like that and then just put this there also. Yeah, like that. That's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Nice job, team. <laughs> okay, now that we have the bookshelves out of the way, we're looking good. We're looking good. We do have, oh my gosh, we do have these like light <laughs> these lights we should probably get rid of. Hmm. Think about putting this one like here. And we can delete this. Stick this like right above the table here. I think that's cute and it works and I like it. And then we also need a light here in the kitchen where we can go ahead and put like this one here. It works. I like it. <laughs> and then probably in the living room, I'll put the other like giant light and then we can use like these smaller less obnoxious lights for like everything else <laughs> nice 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 next i think i want to go ahead and just put like the rest of the lights why do i have two of the same light okay one is a little further down than the other okay <laughs> and we can do we'll put that one that's further down than the other in like i don't know the offices or something like that this one here and we'll put it here and here perfect and then this one here I don't know, do we have another hanging light yeah we have this one which i really like i don't like this one i want to get rid of it and put it somewhere that i don't really like we can actually put it here in the baby's room make it kind of dim and then in the bedrooms we can definitely put the other cool looking light and we can't forget about this bedroom either. I completely forgot about doing the upstairs, which we shouldn't forget about. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put this light everywhere. Three and four, looking nice. And then we have this big open area here. We also have the hallway, this room here. Honestly, we can go ahead and put this light here also. And then for those big open spaces, hmm. Maybe this light? Where was I even looking at? Oh, the hallway? Yeah, maybe we can go ahead and put like this light in the hallway. See, it looks pretty good. It's pretty lit up. And then put one here also. And then we can also put like some right here. And then one like right here maybe. That's cute. And then definitely, most definitely want to grab this light here and put it up here. 
I know it's really obnoxious. I really hate it. Can we size it down again? Because it's just awful. I hate the light like more than anything. It's it's completely ruined the whole build. <laughs> okay, and then as for the bathrooms, we're gonna have some like wall lights most definitely. That's the best way to go about it. And which ones? Probably these candle ones. These are kind of cute. I wouldn't mind having these in the bathroom. Like, look at how adorable that is. That's too cute. Have another one here. And it's completely lit up just like that. One here. Have another one like here. Adorable. And then definitely put one here. And then another one probably like here. And then lastly, upstairs. Just put like two of them or maybe three we can put one on each side of the window cute and then what's missing lights uh nothing really hmm you know what instead of having this here because i already put it like in there we can put like a lamp probably this one here this lamp and we can stick it here and like have it going through the whole room and then honestly, we can get the other lamp too and kind of put it on the opposite angle and do the same thing. Kind of like that. I think that's adorable. Yeah, much better. And then now we just have like table lamps and stuff like that. I mean, we have this, which matter of fact, let's just put it out here. Yeah, something like that. Make them like navy blue to match the, um, the door cute <laughs> honestly too we can grab this and it's a little dark in here still and we can put one up there and then one up here just make it black there we go perfect i probably put like another one on this side too just to make it like symmetrical look at my door glitching no way <laughs> okay and then now we'll for the office, we do need an office desk. Here is our office desk right here. Perfect. I'm gonna put it, see if I put it here, it's gonna block the window. So I might just put it here, right? Kind of scooch it a little bit this way. Then make it like kind of dark, like this dark wood. And then grab this chair here. Hmm. I don't really like these chairs though, for like an office. This is our rocker, another rocker, armchair. So these are all for living room. Here's some other seats, but I don't like those either. That's the thing. Oh, look, and we can put those through the game table. Actually, they can all be mixed match for all I care. Um, let's use this one in here. Oh, we can't. Oh, is it like not a confused? Very confused. Uh, throw it outside. <laughs> Grab this one. Can it? No. Hmm. Oh, is this a desk? Oh my gosh, is this a desk also? No, this is a seat. Wait, I'm I'm so confused, guys. I really am. No, this is a desk. And so, what is this? It's a chair. What the heck? All right. <laughs> Well, um, this can go upstairs. Why doesn't this chair slot to this desk? I think because it's just like a sitting chair probably, which is fine, but you know, these colors are obviously going to change. They're so ugly. Um, grandpa's favorite armchair. Okay. Well, I need to see any one of these seats. I'm choosing you. You're coming with me. And you're going to slot right there. Perfect. And then we'll just make you like this brown color. And we'll even give you a little computer so that you can work on your stuff. None came with going together, I figured. So let's go to base game. Get you one of these bad boys. Perfect. Now, um, we have like this plant here. It's super cool. We can definitely put it in the office here in front of the window. Yep, <laughs> like that. And then, I mean, this office is gonna be pretty empty. I mean, it's just a desk and this plant. Maybe we can put like some stuff on the wall. 
and whatnot. Mm, we do have a lot of stuff. Let's put this baby thing up here in the living room. And then we have like this changing table. And you know what? I'm actually thinking, well, I don't have space. Okay. Well, I mean here. Yeah, we can put it here. I was thinking about putting it outside. Because like, what if they wanted to bring their baby outside to like play in the water and stuff. And they wanted to like quickly change them. Look at my window glitching again. No way. You can't make it up. <laughs> okay, then we have our little game table. Which maybe we can bring this outside too. Um... Gosh, it's really ugly. Uh, <laughs> and like, they have like all these different chairs and stuff. Or maybe let's make it colorful. You know, let's make everything like different and whatnot. Make the table like blue. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like makes my and stuff. And then, why am I, um, oh, you know, what are these dressers? Mm -mm. This is for a hallway. Oh gosh, we already used up our hall. Oh, look. Perfection. Right there. Wonderful. And then I need like a dresser. What is this? Drawers? Not, not your grandma's drawers. Your table. What? Anyway, I think um, <laughs> this is supposed to go here. And then we can put like this table. Or you know what? Put this like right here. And then we can put this one here. And then use this as like a, you know, you guys see the vision? Put that there and then put this sofa like going like this kind of. Put this baby thing like here maybe. Yeah, cute. And then like you can just walk around to get into the little sofa area. And then these are like some end tables. Let's go ahead and place them around the place i'm gonna put them like next to the beds and stuff like that and then this one's cute for like her room in here even has their own speaker and then oh my gosh let's put a bed up here where here or we can put it no we can put it there i think that's fine and then scoot this into the wall and then we're gonna go ahead and give them these ones here Okay, we're making a lot of progress. We do have a toy box, which obviously can come in the kids' room. And then, um, is this a dresser? Yes, we can put this in her room. It's super cute, matches the vibes. And then, okay. And then, just throw all of this, like, over here. This table is obviously going outside. Probably underneath this thing here. And then give me this gnome. It's also, it's gonna come outside. Probably like right here. Kinda cute. And then um, all of this stuff is like floating now for whatever reason. I hate when it does that. But now we have a lot of trinkets, a lot of plants. We have like this locker here. The plan is to not have a basement, guys. By the way, that is the plan. Oh, we do have more bookshelves. Okay. Why do I have two of them? Re-reclaimed and reclaimed. Wonderful. Um, let's kind of like compress everything though. Right now, so that it's not like all over the place. Put all of our trinkets over here. Okay, and then now we can like get rid of a lot of this space just here. Okay. No. Okay, this is what we're looking like now. Down to the final few wonderful um hmm i don't know i don't i don't know what what to do now we do have like this little mobile thing it's really big for some reason let's make it smaller i think that's a great idea to make it a lot smaller and then kind of like put it above there i also feel like this light is a bit much um like, it's a tad bit much, like, honestly. And we can honestly put it, like, here, maybe. And then I want to go ahead and put, like, these in the baby's room. Because that was not looking okay. There we go. That's much better. <laughs> Alright, what do we have now? A lot of wall stuff, a lot of bikes. Goodness, a lot of pictures, plants, these little, like, knickknacks and books and lamps and stuff all right 
before before we get into all of that let's go ahead and like organize some of this stuff and like change the colors up and things like that i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then i'll get back to you guys oh look what if we just did this and then <laughs> sized him up really big and then brought him over here <laughs> how funny is that okay and i'm working on the living room and i was thinking what if we just completely remove this sofa and we can actually put it upstairs like right here in this area and that wouldn't hurt to have a little sofa up here and then that means that we can get these chairs down here that match the actual sofa these right here and go ahead and place them like here and then have another one going like this that's so cute right and then make them yellow it's something about this table that's throwing me off too and i don't i don't know what it is it's kind of just like it shouldn't be there and i don't know where to put it instead maybe like here on the side and we can put like a plant here hmm yeah maybe we can put like this plant right here on it or or we could have put a lamp but i guess there's really no point we can i like the flowers more they match the room it's really pretty i like that okay and then as for this bedroom right here i removed the other baby like changing thing and i moved it over here in this little room and then i added plants and i was thinking what if they had like a sitting area in here right with like the rocking chairs we could definitely make that work kind of like place the rocking chairs like that and then use the other one also like this and then change the color i don't know what color maybe like this one could be like a light pink and this one could be like hmm, the darker pink kind of to match the wallpaper a little bit and then if i was using like uh the knitting kit or whatever i'd probably put like a knitting bag or box or something right there so that they can knit while rocking i think that's really cute we also do do we have another rug no we just have this one rug that came with it let's go ahead and give them a rug in their bedroom it's looking a little empty in here it could be the same rug it doesn't matter but of course we're going to change the color oh and i quite like that a lot this one i think it matches perfectly and then, i mean we can definitely go ahead and put a lamp i feel like they would have like this retro lamp up in here maybe just on one of them probably that one match the gold a little bit and then as for anything else in their room i don't think they really need it i mean maybe a dresser i always forget to put dressers in my sims room i probably would have put it here but we have the baby thing do we even have any dressers left no just a locker and i have no idea where i'm going to put that i mean maybe outside but <laughs> where here oh you know what that's actually not a bad idea to put it here and we also have like the baby um thing right there i'm not mad at it i'm not mad at it at all once again because they have their whole splash pad here yeah good job team <laughs> and then now we do have this chair right here I think I'm gonna go ahead and put like no I want to put benches on the front porch I think in this area here I want to add like some chairs and stuff <gasps> and we can put this giant table over here I completely forgot we had it and these don't like um slip to slip to it what what am I trying to say guys they don't like match to it oh my gosh you guys know what i'm trying to say <laughs> i don't i don't have the word right now for it slot they don't slot to it there we go <laughs> but that's okay i like the idea of still having these chairs right here i believe you can still use each one there's like enough room and then we can kind of change the color maybe it's like this darker blue color here mm -hmm. and then we can make this table like black and then i'll have to find some chairs to go ahead and put around there as for benches, here's the ones we have. I do want to go ahead and put some, like, here. I think that's super adorable. It fits perfectly. I don't know what color to make them. Probably, like, a dark brown. This super dark brown. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, that's not bad. I like it. It's fine. <laughs> this is too funny to me. Ooh, and he has different colors. Let's put him in a raincoat. Oh my gosh, that is too amazing. <laughs> oh gosh, I just realized I completely forgot to do this bathroom. Uh, let me go and add a shower and stuff up there. That's not good. 
There we go. All done. Looking nice. Everything fits in here. I was scared that everything wasn't going to fit, but it did. So it's good. We're all good. Oh, a mirror, of course. Make sure they have a mirror in here. I guess this bathroom is kind of like the teen's bathroom, huh? They get a bathroom to themselves too, basically. No one else really is up here. I mean, there's the office, but still don't know what's going to really be in here too much. Oh, maybe the sofa can go in here and it's like a reading. No <gasps> we could totally do that. You guys are so awesome. Nice job. We'll do that then. Okay, and then we have like this right here, which I can put in this teen's bedroom right here. Cute. And then we do have this plant, which is super adorable. I was thinking about putting in this bedroom. Where? I don't know. I'll find a spot, but I do want to put it. And this person does also need a rug. So let's go ahead and just use the same one and stick it like here. That's adorable. And we can definitely find like, ah, so pretty. That's adorable. Let's see if there's one that kind of, I mean, there's this one. This one kind of matches the bed and stuff. And it does still have pink from the wall. You know, because they're not trying to have too much pink, right? But they do have, like, some pink. And then maybe here we can put, like, a desk and stuff. I don't know, guys. Ooh, or we can go ahead and put this right here. I really wish that these plants came separately. Like, it's cool and all that they came together, but how much better would it be if they also came separately? You know? Super cute. And I think that I like the colors as they are. Yeah. We're gonna keep them like this. It's adorable. Now, we have, like, a bunch of, like, these little trinkets and stuff of that nature, like, some projects and all kinds of stuff, signs. We have, the, like, this luggage. Hmm. You know what? Honestly, I don't know. Maybe we can put it, like, here, right? And let's put, like, a couple of them, maybe, like, just here, just because. And, you know, let's have some different colors and things of that nature cute and then of course we have this night light and we know where this is going or maybe it's not a night light it's just like a moon lamp but still definitely going in the kids room which i actually believe is done it's really cute i like it i don't think i'm gonna do too much else to it i mean there could be like some clutter and stuff here but we'll see and you know what i'm looking at like yeah we have like a lot of toys and all kinds of stuff oh we have like what are these board games and stuff? Ooh, perfect. We could put some board games or like some puzzles outside on this table just for decorations. They can't really use it though. And then we can go ahead and get these board games and put them here just for decorations once again. Maybe they like to have family board game night here. That's adorable actually. We have this, we have a book sack, which can definitely, you know what, go in the kids' room. <laughs> go ahead and put it here. You know, that one of them just has a book sack here. It's cute. But I was, what I was trying to say was, all of this right here, like this play stuff, could most definitely go inside of like the sleep, the sleepover room. And they were like building stuff in here to like play together and things of that nature. I think that's super cute. You know what? You know what, let's put this mirror here. I just found it. It doesn't hurt to put one here, like in the dining area. I think that's kind of cute. And then I kind of want to organize this space right here with all the sleeping bags and stuff and like the, the space crafts and all that good stuff we got going on here. Maybe somebody sleeping here and somebody sleeping here. Gotta keep the, gotta keep the vibe going, right? I like this little princess thing, a space thing. We got this one here. Maybe they're kind of turned this way. And then we have this project. It's cute, it's cute, it's cute. I like it. I like it, Picasso. We can put this one like in front of here because maybe no one actually uses, um, no one actually uses that baby changing thing. But yeah, see, it's kind of like just scattered everywhere with like a bunch of sleeping bags and stuff like that. Cute. I'm definitely going to put some, you know what? Let's go ahead and put some decorations on the wall now. I don't know which one's probably this one, right? This one's super cute. We can go ahead and put it. It's really small. I mean, we could make it bigger. I don't think that hurts at all. It's kind of adorable, actually. Cute. And then maybe we can get, like, a little bit more. 
or we could leave it as is or maybe do you think we can fit these bookshelves on either side of the door oh maybe just here that's kind of a cute idea go ahead and make it like this color cute i like it like a lot i, I really like it um these curtains right now are all white maybe we can like make them pop a little bit with like mm, this this is kind of cute I like the colors, it's fun. And then let's go ahead and change all the sleeping bags, make them kind of cute, you know? Look at that, that's adorable. Let's get like, I kind of like the frog one. The frog one's cute on this one. There we go. And then let's get one more painting right there, or like decal. I'm thinking one of these tooth ones, maybe this one right here, just because, I mean, it's kind of fun looking. Let me go ahead and put that here. Ta-da! This room is done. This is our little sleepover room for the kiddos. So cute. You know, once again, it's strange. You know, there's giant windows. You could just... Some sim is just walking. They're like, ooh, let me go ahead and peep in on what the kiddos are doing. You know, it's a little strange. It's a little strange. But it's the sims, so it's okay. <laughs> a little advice, though. Uh, I wouldn't have giant windows like this looking into your kids' rooms. <laughs> it's, uh, it's strange. I'm thinking, do I want this? Oh, you know what? I do want a shower in here. Because the kids don't have a place to take a shower as of right now they do not and so uh now they have to you know what i want to switch this around and put this light over here instead and then center that a little bit more because i want to put the shower going this way i hate whenever the shower head this part like isn't against the wall it has to be against the wall for me <laughs> Let's go ahead and put our shower there. And then our toilet here. You know, we can have it like here. Kind of the same layout as the other bathroom upstairs. And then we can have the sink in the corner. Well, not the flooring, but the sink <laughs> in the corner right here. There we go. And there's our bathroom. Cute. Um, Move this light to like right here. Thank you. Adorable. Now the kids have a bathroom to come into also. Wow, I'm surprised. All four of our bathrooms are completely functional. Like, they're not half bathrooms. They all have showers, sinks, and toilets. That That's cool. And baths, because it's a shower-bath combo. Wow, look at me go. <laughs> okay, now the last thing is this little bookshelf. We can easily put that upstairs in one of these areas, probably here. Look at my look at my door. Why is it doing that? Stop. It's weird. Go ahead and put it here. Probably use like the black one maybe. I don't know what else I want to put right here. Ugh, I don't know. And honestly, I don't know what I want to put in this giant empty area either. Probably a rug. <laughs> that would that would make the most sense to put a rug here. And then we got to find something else to put here, guys. We can't just leave it looking like this. This rug's kind of cute. It's like kind of neutral, kind of not. It has some orange like from the, the kitchen and stuff like that. Ah, no idea what to, no idea what to put in this giant area. Okay, and then we have all of this bike. Like, oh my gosh, let me go ahead and put them all like outside. Maybe we could have a couple of them go outside like in the backyard and then we can have a couple of them like in the front yard. I think that works perfectly. So many bikes and for what? For my sim to never use them. <laughs> I'd never use the bikes. I probably used the bikes like one time. <laughs> and I don't even know why that was. Okay, let's go ahead and put them probably like here. Over here next to this hedge. And kind of have them like go in different directions and stuff like that. Just here. And then change the colors. Maybe this one can be white. This can be kind of cool like that. We have this cool bike and then like a pink one. That's actually adorable. I love it. Okay, and then in the backyard, hmm. I am gonna have this thing right here with the, the bench. I don't know what color though. This one seems the least obnoxious is blue. And I guess we'll just leave the bench to match. Here's Wilbur. I think that's his name. Oh, Welbert. Okay. <laughs> um, you know what? The best place to put these bikes is probably up here. 
Ugh, I know. Nobody uses them, guys. Oh, or you know what? Right here. I don't have anything going on right here. And you guys can all just park your bikes right there. There you go. Nice. Oh, and you know what? Let's actually move this gaming table up here. I feel like that's the best thing to do. And then we can still have that table there. Probably with like a couple of these chairs. Maybe like three of them. Hmm. And I guess we can kind of get rid of these right here. And put this here instead. We can still have this chair kind of looking out. And then we can have this one like right here. So here you can just sit around, chat, do whatever. And then here you can actually like play the games. Cute. I love that. And then I guess let's organize the backyard. This is staying like this. I already messed with that. Um, we can definitely have some benches right here. Like let's say they're having a party with a bunch of parents. Maybe the parents want to sit here, you know? We can have them be like this dark brown. And then I'm not entirely sure like how to, I don't, I'm not entirely sure how the water stuff works. Like what goes, like do these go on top of here? I wouldn't know. <laughs> I really wouldn't. I mean, we have this one here and my guess is that you just kind of put these little sprinklers around, maybe like that a little bit. And then you have this one, put this thing right here. Look, we have some flowers, so cute. And then this one can kind of go like right here. That's kind of adorable though. I like it, I'm not mad at it at all. And then we have Welber. Does he go on top of one of these? I don't think so. But then we have Welbert and he's, he's adorable, of course. And then maybe let's go ahead and change the colors of some things although i feel like this flower needs to have like this under it no no is that not how it works hmm i don't know <laughs> these are cute let's make them like Ooh, i like the black one oh they come in different okay i love this blue one here and then let's make this one like green Ooh, that's so cool. And then, yeah, let's keep that one like that. Look at us go. Look at our little, okay, look at our little splash park in the backyard for the kiddos. That's adorable. That's too cute. Okay, I guess we're done then. Look, we can make him an orca. Oh, I love that so much. I kind of want to. And then we can make him like this color. That's adorable. All right, here we go. I think I think this is good. I think this is good. <laughs> I'm 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 liking it so far. I like I like the back. Now everything we have left is kind of like uh, a lot of toys, a lot of trinkets, arts and crafts. Some like uh, oh my gosh, can it, can I click this? Thank you, love you. <laughs> um oh we do have like this really small curtain. Hmm. Can probably put that. I don't know. Do I not have like a small window somewhere? Huh, I don't think so. That is very strange indeed. I mean, we do have like this window here. I can't like, I can't place the thing though, like on the window. I can only place it like right here. It's not letting me. Huh, I hate this game sometimes. Look, this is technically it sticking to it. This right here, that's not uh all right can we like pretend please like that you want to work that i'm just gonna put you here i can't do it i can't just put you there i can't this looks so bad like what huh what am i expected to do sims please what am i expected to do we're gonna do that and we are going to make them this color for whatever, ugh, whatever. Anyway, like I was saying, <laughs> there's a few things, wall decal, some trinkets, paintings and stuff. I'm going to go liven the place up with some paintings and some, some of these trinkets and whatnot and fix a couple of things. And then I will be right back with you guys. 
Okay, everyone. Well, I have just used every single item from growing together and it actually wasn't that bad like at all i thought it was going to be kind of bad but it wasn't but at the same time i was like you know what this might be pretty easy just because it's a family home and it's a family pack you know but here we are here is the entire home right here i'll definitely put it on the gallery um here's the outside just a look around the place ignore the the random windows um this is the backyard I did put like these things out here because maybe people coming along this trail might need to use the bathroom or something. I don't know. Here's the treehouse back here. We have some bikes, just another look around, stuff like that. Our little remade garage. Looking at the first floor, if we look at it for like bird's eye view, this is what it's looking like. We have our little sleepover area. We have our little living room here, some little baby stuff, our piano. We have our kitchen looking nice. I went ahead and added a half wall here just to separate it off a little bit more. We have the kids room, which is so gorgeous. We have decals. The decals are all super strange, but I mean, I had to do what I had to do and just still place them around the house. <laughs> we have our little dining room here, tables. Here we have like the confetti canyon, cannon po point, point, oh my gosh, pointing like kind of towards the door in this area. I... What I envisioned was that maybe they moved stuff out of the way because they were going to have like a party here or whatever. I don't know. If you decide to download this off the gallery, you can definitely add like other stuff from other packs right here if you wanted to. Um, we have our little hallway. We have our little office right here, which I'm actually really in love with. I really like how it came out, especially with this plant and like the lamps and the luggage and everything because it's about travel and stuff and it really came together. Coming down here, we do have the baby's room. It's just a changing table and then the crib. We have more of the hallway. We have like the main bedroom here, which I'm actually quite in love with. I love the colors, the yellow and the, oh gosh, broken window. Anyway, the yellow and the pink. <laughs> and they do also have like a baby station in here. I mean, a baby changing table. I would definitely put like another crib in here, most definitely. I know there's like more that came with base game, so you can definitely put that in here. And then we have two toddler stuff. We have their bedroom. I mean bathroom coming through this little gap you have a teen's room super cute love it it's pink it's girly it's wonderful you come in they have their own little pink bathroom if we come over here and go upstairs we have the whole upstairs it's pretty empty once again you can add whatever you want to in these empty areas whenever you download it off the gallery i was just kind of limited by this pack there are other things that i might have put here maybe i would have put a ping pong table here from discovery university i don't know anyway and then we have here we have like a little reading nook maybe it's really simple i would definitely add a different rug from like a different pack i have an idea of kind of one that i would put here but yeah we have the bathroom up here, it's full, and then we have the last teen's bedroom, or maybe another adult, who knows? Super cute, I love it. It's kind of empty, but I imagine that that's what they kind of like. They like their stuff really simple. And then, yeah, lastly, we have the backyard, which we worked on. Super adorable, I love it all. It all came together super nice, and I am actually really proud of this build. If you want it on the gallery, I'm gonna make sure to go and put it right now. And now that that's done, on to the builds that you guys did for the last pack. Our first build is here. It's a treasure ranch and it's by five on a Friday. Thank you so much for participating in the challenge this week. I'm looking at these and I'm super excited to go ahead and check it out. So let's go ahead and place it. Oh my gosh. This is so wonderful. I love like how there's also like grass on the, oh my gosh. Okay, your landscaping is wonderful. Where do I even start? This is gorgeous. Like look at everything on the outside guys. What the heck? It's so beautiful. Okay, so let's start with this. Um, Here's the barn. It's gorgeous. I love this so much. Look at this. <gasps> this painting is so cute. We have the like nectar making station here. We have a sleeping bag in here. That's adorable. And I believe this is where the horse stays and whatnot. Super cute. I love that vibe. And then over here, we have a training ground for the horses. So, like, you know, they come over here, play with their ball, use their, um, not the hurdles, but, like, the barrels and stuff. Here's a hurdle here, though. Super cute. Love what you did with the landscaping and, like, the terrain paint. It's absolutely amazing. Here we have another little spot, like, little backyard spot. Super cute. We have a bunch of more training stuff around the place. When we come inside, we have, like, oh my gosh, 
we have these bunk beds and they're super cute to me like absolutely adorable i love this room so much we have yet another bedroom here also actually adorable and then we can actually access this other bedroom through this one here which is super cute i love this little <laughs> sleeping bag here on the floor and the little horsies down here and then in here we have another bedroom so many beds came with this pack guys we have a little half bathroom right here a little desk and then we have a full bathroom here with a shower and whatnot and then in here we have our little living area which is super cute and i love it with the little toy house thing we have another desk we have another living area but this one doesn't have a tv it has a fireplace <gasps> and then look at this kitchen and dining room what the heck and it even has a little dance floor this is so cute i've never done my island like this before and um i love it like absolutely this kitchen looks amazing i love the dining table i love the idea of having these chairs and, like a dining i mean a dance floor here it's super cool and then if we go upstairs we have this area here there's an entire bar i love it in here and there's this nice table some wine piano another mini little dance floor super cute we come here, we have a little bathroom, it's separated, there's a bathtub, shower, sink, and whatnot. And then in here, we have another bedroom. This is absolutely so cute. I love the vibe of the whole thing. I love, like, the shape. It's very interesting. And I love, I, I love this part right here. And I'm not mad that you built it in Sulani. It's actually really cute. I think it's actually really, like, different, you know? And it was very creative for you to do that here. So 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Our next build here is called Wildflower Corner by Lilacs of May. I'm super excited to check it out. Looking at the pictures, it looks amazing. And it has a basement. So yay. <laughs> they said this took more hours than I am willing to admit. Trust me, mine took hours on top of hours. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is so cute. And I love your red barn. I love your red barn so much. We both did red barns and it's super cute. Oh my gosh, look at this little area here for the horsies. We have a training ground. I love it. Oh, look at your landscaping. Stop it. How are people so good at this stuff? Like, this is so gorgeous. This is what I was envisioning mine to look like. It doesn't look like this, but this is what I envision, and this is what I tried to accomplish, and then it just, it's not like this at all. <laughs> but this is absolutely gorgeous. I can see how it took, like, forever. And your house is so beautiful from the outside. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, we come in. It's looking nice. I love it. We have, like, brooms. We have a giant open area, which is super nice. We have a nice rustic-looking living room with a fireplace gorgeous in here we kind of have like a storage room i love it i like the idea of a storage room some broken stuff we have like this truck with this oh i like this so much um with the storage room it's so cute and then we have some sinks here in the bathroom with the shower and the toilet and stuff absolutely cute love how it's separated too and then in here, we have the kitchen, and it's huge, and I love it, and it's so cool. I love the cabinets and everything. It looks so good, and it actually goes really well together. And over here, we have some seating, dining room. Oh, you use the dance floor as, like, to go underneath the table, and I absolutely love that so much. I don't know why I didn't think about that. I was trying to figure out how to keep all the dance floors. I didn't even think about this. That was, that was perfect. <laughs> And then out here, we just have some more seating and stuff with their little grill. If you come out and then you come back in through here, we have a bunch of plants, which I think is super cute. And then if you go here, you have like a sitting area, kind of like in this secluded room with like giant windows. I love it. And then you come here and there's this whole dance floor. Oh my gosh. The whole place is a dance floor. That is so good because now your sims can dance anywhere in here and they can all be like spaced out and seem like the <gasps> Wow. I you you guys are great. Anyway, <laughs> I love this bar. Oh, I really like these lights on this bar. And we have the piano and everything. Super cute. We have some more outdoor sitting area. Absolutely adorable. If we go upstairs, we have another dance floor. Oh, <gasps> 
and we have this bedroom which is so colorful i'm literally freaking in love what the heck i love these colors i love the paintings and the chair and the trophies we come over here oh i love this room so much oh my gosh look at the little sheep and the oh my gosh once again it's super colorful super pretty i'm in love they're so adorable look at ah oh, so cute <laughs> we have another bathroom we have more bathrooms over here we have a big bedroom for a big person <laughs> not a small tiny human and then we have another area with like a desk in it absolutely adorable here we have another sitting area i love how everything is kind of disheveled like the rugs are like overlapping here and not straight and this rug is kind of going sideways like this we have a piano we have some stuff cluttered over here and then we have them sitting around like a fireplace with a bunch of little metals on the wall. This was too cute. And we don't have anything else upstairs, but we can go to the basement. And down here, they do have their wine, the nectar, the nectar racks and stuff. And just some more decorations. And it's super cute. I loved your build. I loved both of your builds so much. They were so wonderful. 10 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for participating in this week's challenge. All right, everyone. Well, that's going to be all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you made it all the way over here, don't forget to like the video. And if you're new, do consider subscribing. Um, I really hope that you guys decide to do this growing together one. It was super fun. Trust me, guys. It's super easy if you just make like a family home. Everything is so easy to fit into it just because it's a family pack. So that's really nice. I did put it on the gallery. So go feel free to download it as Cimarella. And if you do want to do the challenge and you don't know how, you just build something, put it on the gallery and use hashtag a builder's limit and I'll be able to see it and showcase it in the next build. With all that being said, peace and love to you all. Until next time.